Hey everyone, I've got some unfortunate shit. We're playing this. Yeah, I know, right? It's still shit quality. I know, I can't help it. There's nothing I can do, to be honest. It does my head in. Well, this game just ruins my PC so much. It doesn't like it. But so far, it's doing okay. It's doing okay. Um, last part, last part. Uh Oh, what's the last part? Oh, that's right. Yes, we were attacked by a dog. And we found a group of people that have somewhat helped us and somewhat didn't. Dang it. Back to this bit. It's alright. It's fucking cold. I hate winter. I can't imagine, like, being a zombie apocalypse. Boy, Fuck you that. Just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Just Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? Just let me go. There's only three guys. Three characters I like in this group so far already. Just instantly straight away. Those two and the doctor. So yeah, that's three in screen. What the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. Um, Luke, don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived. I don't like those two. They're the dog shits. Let me take a look. Uh, the guy with the glasses. I'm not convinced he that I like him or not. He kind of stands out from the others. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then I'm just a little girl. I'm not going to hurt anyone. <laughs> Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We could take her if it comes to that. I, I, I kind of regret those words. What I say, stay mm. inside. But I can't like it. It was funny. It really, really hurts, and it's only gonna get worse. A dog, you say? Do you think it could have had rabies? Out here, who knows? Right now, that's the least of your concerns. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. Uh -huh. Oh, we chose a different path. Okay, sorry. So, sorry. What do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. So much oh, full off in my pockets. Wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. It's understandable, yeah. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. <sighs> the guy's a bit of a douchebag. He's a bit of a flog, the guy with the gun. But the pregnant bitch could fuck right off. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, 
Maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Yeah, throw me into a barn. Go on, see what happens. Watch what happens. I dare ya. Let's go, bitch. Be afraid. It's so cold. I miss summertime. Ugh! I can't do anything. My fingers hurt too much. Is there anything like called like gaming mittens or some shit that keep your fingers warm during this cold weather? Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, if I can breathe my mind, it's horrible. I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Just go to sleep. Yeah, just go to bed. Go on. What's in here? Good device. Uh, no, that's for later, isn't it? What's this? Come on, you're not even trying. <clears throat> not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. It's a fair point. That's an anchor. Oh, I thought it was like a bit of like a five and iron board. Interesting. So there's nothing here. That's it. Okay, so how do I get the fucking hammer? Wait, are these screw ones? No, they're not. Damn it. What's this? Oh, it's a table. Interesting. I wouldn't trust that. You just unfolded it. Nailed it. It can't be that bad. It's not a broken arm. Hmm. <sighs> Whatever. I feel like she's being a little bit too dramatic. No offense. I know she's a kid, but I feel like she's being over dramatic with the whole bitten arm type thing. She's treating it like it's broken. It's not. She can still use it just fine. Like, yeah, it probably hurts, but like, it's not broken. Calm down. <clears throat> Good job. You made it out. Probably does. Who knows? Nini Stealth mode activated. Stealth mode. Stealth mode. It's over here. Ooh. Come here, bitch. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want it. Give it. Give it. There we go. Give it. You fucking asshole. Oh. Where's your hammer? Seriously? Did you not bring it? Oh, you did. Good job. Oh, I gotta pull out each fucking individual thing. That's not even loud. Calm down. Alright. When she get in, 
you put it back so that I don't notice it. Nope. Alright, fine then. You're lost. Ginny! Ginny, Ginny! 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 Stealth mode. What's this? Oh, we did it. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. We broke that knife. Ah, oh, bastard. That knife was very important to us. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Alright, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna say upstairs. Kitchen. Oh, do I want to? Probably not. I could be in there. So what do I do? Up. She said she's out here alone. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Alright, avoid the kitchen at all costs. We got it. Wait, hand. Let's go upstairs. Where am I going? There we go. It's a lot of lighting. I would not have that much lighting on. Fuck that. Uh, this one? Just to be sure. Peekaboo! You're not supposed to be in here. Uh. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. That's such a shit conversation. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with bandages and I need to sew some of it up it's too deep my dad says we're out of real bandages but I know where to get something to clean it that's what this applies I'll help you good thank you thank you I'm Sarah you're a good citizen you get a golden sticker I'm Clementine we're friends right we can be best friends I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's I, have, I have to. We are friends. Yeah, friends. Yeah. yeah. It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. It's giving me the option. It wants me to say no to her. <laughs> it really wants me to say no. And I want to say no, but I'm just using her to get supplies. Oh, and she swears oh, it's itching to say no and just throw it off. I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Oh. Look around. You fucking hate it already. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Oh. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, 
What's in here? Bathroom. What's that called? Search. Uh, needle. Yes. It's clean. Good job. All right, what's next? I'll still need some bandages, though. Do you though? That man from home. You fucked. Fuck, what do I got in here? Ooh. Damn it. Fuck this bitch. I fucking hate her. Just need to have this baby. <laughs> How do they have running water? What the fuck? Let it be okay. Let it be his. Oh, it's not his. Who's his? <laughs> These people are fucking retarded. Just saying. They're fucking. They're honestly so stupid. Bedroom door. What's in here? Oh, I've got to search everything. God damn it! Drawer. What's a drawer? Open. It's locked. Not good. Uh, rags? Is that it? Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. You talk a bit loud. What's this? Board game. The fuck kind of board game is that? What a loser! He plays by himself. All right, coast this clear. Let's go. Gotta get down somehow. I'm upset that the, the, the fucking knife broke. That breaks my heart. We need we need that. We get fucked over later without that knife. Get back in here. Get back in. Ah. They're fucking idiots, I swear. They're all dumb as each other. That's pretty. See, now what I will do, I will put my arm in the vice grip. This is gonna suck. Have no excuse to move it around. Alright. Alright. I'm putting a warning out there. If you are sensitive to this shit, fuck right off. Don't come back. But if you like this shit, stay. Thank you. Alright, so we're now going to drench it with water. Uh, Alright, pour it over. Are oh, you? What a fucking waste! What a waste! Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm fine. All right. Now the fun part. It is the fun part. This one. That's not a lot of fishing wire. 
I would have done that before you put the water on. No. Just like last time. Just how Crystal showed me. There you go. You got this. Straight in? Wait. Where's the thing at? There you go. Put something in your mouth, so therefore nothing can hear you. Straight through. Straight through. Go on. There you go. Do it again. How many times are we doing this? She's gonna pass out soon. You can see it. Oh. Doing it again. Let's go. Strong. She's very strong. Again, seriously. Oh, she's going real deep with that one. She went really deep with that. That last one really got her good. Don't like the cold. My hands hurt so much. Oh, damn it! Right, grab this. Oh, fuck me. Good job, you were loud and you attracted them. Fuck off you. Fuck off. Ooh, that was close. Oh fuck, grab it. Am I dead? Fuck off, I did it! I tried to. Get off me. Fuck face. What's this, a brick? Kirby! <laughs> Get lost. Finger blast! I'm good at this stuff! I'm good at this, I swear! There we go. Okay, now what? No, oh, hammer. Beat his head open. He's stuck. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Fucker! What a fucking loser. We're good. Too good. Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? The shed should have been safe. Are you happy? I could have died, you know. Well, you didn't. Oh, shut up. Just needed some help. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a babe. I did. I took stuff, and I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Wait. What? what you give me the option to talk? No? Alright, all right, then... <laughs> Awkward silence. I guess we're not hungry. This might hurt a little. How she look? 
Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. She could be sick because of the fucking rain and the cold. Not because of the bite. There's many reasons why. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat. Which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs! Clementine's right. She's been through this since she was very little. Be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. I will eventually. Thank you very much. Stay away from my daughter. But no, he... His daughter needs to fucking grow up. I said it was he. Fuck it, Tossa. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Jesus. What? <laughs> What's up? It's been fucked up the same. had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Huh. What do you want? Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost I think he mom. has something wrong with him, we took mentally. Care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway. Hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. Cool story, bro. Don't give a shit. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Nah, no one wants me here. Anyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. He's really nice. I like him. I bet he's great at combat too. What happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is... What happened to just about everyone's parents? You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. 
I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Fair point, yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? Oh, fucking obvious, I'm alone. <laughs> I ran away. I was stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away. And Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. Nope. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. Probably. You are a kid. You're still learning. But you're a lot better than what I fucking interrupt, Sarah is. I stand and watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Wouldn't that be nice? He's nice too, I like him. He's my second favorite. Oh, you're still here. Ah, oh, fucking, here we go. Here we go. You know what? Put me in this fucking game and I'll have a good mouthful with this fat bitch. Smack her around and give her a fucking good old beating or two. <sighs> yeah. Let's talk shit about a baby. Go on. <laughs> talk shit about it. If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. What are you gonna do about it, fatty? Go on. Fuck me up. I dare you to. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. Oh, really? You want to fight? Go on. Fuck dog. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You're the problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Oh, I am. As long as I'm far away from you. Fuck, I hate it. I really do hate her. I'm sorry. That's mean. She has so much attitude and sass. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once uh, she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. It's like she was in good words. last night. That's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Why do you keep looking at the gun? You had to shoot. By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Ooh, okay, it's a tough decision. It was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. What a baby. <laughs> hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, point. so I grabbed the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, 
The gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. It's a fair point. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. <sighs> so anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Oh no. Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. All right. That's it. I'm going to call for today. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe. It's going to get more intense very soon. Oh, a big stretch. Oh. Oh. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe. And subscribe. Thank you all. Goodbye.